boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm for classic and welcome to Benchart. So for today what I do have in here is Hitman Free, a game developed by IO Interactive and it is using their in-house technology called the Glacier Engine. So yeah, as you know, EO, IO Interactive have been the main developers for Hitman, well in fact they always were the developers of Hitman because they were the ones that did create the series and so this is kind of their signature game, the game that they always have done. They performed, uh, they created, I mean, different games in the past, like Freedom Fighters in 2003, which I did love a lot at the time. But, I mean, they always kept up with the Hitmans instead, and it's an excellent game, in fact. So, let's start with the settings. Scan our HD 7850 run this 2021 game we are talking in here with a nearly nine year old graphic card and this is the settings that you need to go with i'm not even going with the lowest settings so i'm using 1080p low settings and you can even drop more than that you can disable motion blur you can disable uh, screen space reflections and you can reduce even further the level of detail details and many other effects so this is not the minimum settings this is the low settings and if you look to the minimum requirements they say that the minimum is an hd 7870 and we have the hd 7850 so i decided to use the germany map because it's one of the most demanding maps as well as mendoza for example and at these low settings at 1080p the performance was pretty good Yes, it did drop below 30 frames per second at the beginning of the game on the forests, for example, and inside the dance floor or on the first floor when you do overview the dance floor. Yes, those moments are very demanding and it kind of breaked up there the 30 frames per second lock if you want to use. But apart from that, uh, the gameplay was actually above 30 frames per second all the time. Mendoza at the start of the level also happened the same thing. It is a, a demanding spot, but apart from that, all the other levels that I did try it out, it was just performing above 30 frames per second with no issues whatsoever. So, which, which makes me happy, in fact, because first of all, this game at low settings, it does look pretty good. Alright, I don't feel that I'm playing a game at low settings with this type of visuals. And second thing, it is, this is a 9-year-old, or close to 9-year-old graphic card. It was released on March of uh, 2012 i guess so we are close to have this graphic card with nine years in here in here so that's a lot of time and we are talking about a triple a title being released in 2021 so i'm very happy that this card still packs a punch for users that weren't able to upgrade until now and that's today with the you know, with the current market of the GPUs, with the mining, with the lack of stock, people that are still forced to be using uh, their old graphic cards, uh, now you know that you can still play Hitman Free, and despite the frame rate it is 30, and despite you are playing at low settings, I think it still looks pretty good and it's very playable, because it's Hitman. You don't really require to have a very big frame rate in order to play Hitman decently. Because Hitman have always been that type of stealth game that uh, you take your decisions in, and think about your approach. So you can play Hitman with very low frame rates if you want. So it's not really a big deal. Unless you go and play this game at guns blazing. Well, in that part, I would say that probably 30 frames per second might get slightly a little bit on the way. But it's not a big deal. All right. But still, I think it's it's very surprising the results that we are getting in here. In my opinion, I'm just shocked how well this runs on this old graphic card. And keep in mind, this is a 9-year-old graphic card and it was not a top-tier graphic card. This was the cheapest mainstream graphic card I could buy at the time. And it's awesome, guys. It's awesome that we are able to play Hitman Free. Alright, so let's... Put the results out of the way and performance and let's talk now a little bit about the game. Well, so Hitman 3. This is the conclusion of the this new series which is called The World of Assassination. IO Interactive decided to remake the Hitman series and the first uh, 
Hitman remake it. It was released in 2006, then they did release the Hitman 2, and now we have finally the, the ending of the trilogy, which is Hitman 3. So, the main difference in this game, uh, it is a little bit the graphics, alright, so they decided to include uh, a different lightning system to this game, and also screen space reflections. So, this means that if you start the Hitman 3, you can also play the other levels, and the other levels will benefit from these improvements, so which means that if you are going to play another level from Hitman 1 inside the Hitman 3, you will get screen space reflections and uh, a different lightning system. So the only thing that I don't consider great about that is that at some points the lightning really gets different, and the levels that, it, that you did play before might not look exactly the same because of uh, that lightning difference. For most levels, the difference is just way too small for you to notice, but I do recommend you to check the Digital Foundry video, there are some levels there that really changes a little bit too much to my taste, and some people might not be satisfied with that change. But many other levels get so much better because of the addition of screen space reflections, alright? So, that's... That's pretty much that. As for the level design, Hitman 3, according to critics, have the best levels. And honestly, I think I have to agree. This Germany map completely resembles me the Hitman Contract's first level. I mean, second level. It was seriously amazing and it's a punch on my memories because it's re it really reminds me of those levels. And it's really great. The other levels are great too. I think they really got 200% into the details of every stuff and the puzzles inside these games are really interesting. So I guess Hitman 3 might be, might be the best game of the, the entire trilogy of the world of assassination. So it's a great game. Now the downside is that apart from that and some new addiction which is a shortcut which I will explain, uh, there isn't too much of new stuff, you know, it's more of the same, it's more of the same uh, gameplay, they didn't really change it that much, but like I did told you, the shortcuts, it is a new thing, and it's a nice thing if you like to replay the levels, which I do hope you do that, because previously on the other Hitmans, every time you wanted to perform a different challenge, a different type of assassination, you needed to replay the level exactly, or more or less the same way, traverse through the same paths. Now Hitman shortcuts, uh, I mean Hitman free shortcuts, really solves that problem, because after you finish the first level, and if you unlock the shortcuts, what really happens is the second time you are going to play that level, instead of you going all the way around doing the same uh, path, you can use your shortcuts to get more closer to the objective. So it's a little bit like Dark Souls, alright? Dark Souls, when you start the game, for you to kill the first boss, you need to go all the way around through multiple places to reach the boss. But after you kill the boss, you unlock a door that gets you back to the beginning just in like 10 seconds. So the next time you want to go to the same place, instead of going all the way around taking like one hour, you go through that door that you unlocked. So it's the same thing in here in Hitman. You unlock a shortcut and instead of going all the way around like 20 minutes trying to avoid, uh, evade the guys and the enemies and the suspicions, you just can get a shortcut that gets you more closer to your objective. So I think that's awesome for people that wants to replay the levels. And like I did told you, I do hope so. Because Hitman, it is the type of game that if you are only going to complete the level one single time, it's a waste of money. Because the game costs around 60 bucks at the moment and contains six maps. And honestly, this game if you know what to do, you can complete the levels really quick and you can get to the ending of the game really quick. So it's kind of a wasted 60 bucks. Although, if you want to replay the levels multiple times, getting to your perfect kill or just uh, trying to beat the challenges that are suggested by the IO Interactive, that can get you a ton of hours of gameplay in here. And I think the magic and the way that Hitman it is built, it is for you to repeat the level multiple times. But if you are a guy that you are just more or less like me, that you just complete the level the best way that you can, and you don't want to see that again, and you want to move on to the next level, then 60 bucks might be a little bit too much for a game like this. But it's your choice. Whatever the choice, 
Hitman 3 contains the best maps of the trilogy in my opinion and I think I'm not alone in thinking that and whatever the game it is small or whatever uh, if you don't think that it is worth the money these guys have gone 300% I, I know that I said 200% before but I will still now 300% in small details inside these levels it is really well done and I think it worth the money if you are really a fan of Hitman and if you like to repeat the levels. If you don't, I would recommend you to wait for the sale. Alright guys, I think that's all that I want to talk about Hitman 3. Hope you can enjoy the rest of the gameplay, which is not much, honestly. And I do hope to see you soon. And above all, guys, stay safe, so just game. Because if you are going to stay at home at gaming, I'm pretty sure you are not going to get the virus. So just game. Game on, guys. Thank you a lot for watching and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye.